This is going to be a tour of the plants in the atrium. First, you will see a new, well, kind of new, jade plant. All of the jade plants in here are originated from the one mother jade plant that I'll show you, which is right here. This is the mother jade. Get back a little distance here uh, it was harmed at, at one point where the middle was basically ripped out of it and you can see down in the middle there it's recovered but the top of it is still kind of a little bit there's a, a hole in the middle as you can see if you look at it from a distance but it did recover. It's continuing to thrive. It needs to be repotted. This is just one of the spider plants. It's been outside so you can see some stuff that grew in there with it. Uh, this is a succulent that I recently repotted into that pot because it was in a very much smaller pot. This is another spider plant. Looks like the cats have been chewing on it. <laughs> I just noticed that. But most of the time they leave the plants alone. There's a uh, jade that, not jade, sage that's been out. It's a garden sage that's been hanging outside, but I brought it in. I'm going to see if it can live in the inside in the winter. <clears throat> More succulents that have been repotted from tiny planters that I uh, got from my son. A little succulent arrangement has now been repotted. Uh, there's more of it that grew up and had to be repotted. That's another spider plant. It's a gift that my friend gave me last year for Christmas because she knows I collect frogs. This is another plant that was given to me by my older son that was an arrangement that keeps growing and there's been offshoots from that also. That's another one, uh, second lint from that arrangement that my son gave me that outgrew its little pot. Another jade plant. This is another spider plant that has really gone out of control <laughs> and this is the i will call it the mother spider plant because all of the other ones have come off of this particular one and it needs to be repotted also but if i put it in a bigger pot then it's going to be heavier and i just don't know how much bigger i want it to get and there's another spider plant from that one. This is some mint. I believe this is catnip, which is a member of the mint plant family. This is uh, an offshoot from the lavender, my mother lavender plant that I started this summer. Another jade plant. I just don't know what I'm going to do with all of these jade plants that I have. I have no clue. This is another plant. I think it's called a corn plant. That has been rooted from the original, the mother I'll call it. This is a fern that was outside, and I think it got, the frost got it, but I did bring it in, but it might have been too late. It might recover. It might recover. I really don't know at this point. These, I read, if you take uh, pine cones that have been opened up, you turn them upside down, and you can start new trees that's an this is an experiment i've got four of those that i'm trying to root this is an offshoot of 
the Christmas cactus that is now blooming pink, but this little branch that fell off because of the fungus gnats is blooming white. Uh, this stuff you'll see here that's covered with mold or whatever uh, is the mosquito bits that I put in there, which is used to treat fungus gnats. So the plant is still alive. It was dying before, so I think the fungus gnat stuff is working. It keeps the larvae that are in the soil that are eating the roots from developing. Another new spider plant. This, I believe, I'm not sure yet, time will tell, is a baby Kusa dogwood. I gathered some of that fruit from the Dennis office tree last year and tried to, to plant some. So I think that's one. I'm not sure yet, but time will tell. More lavender from that, from the original mother lavender, which is right here. It's looking a little spindly. Uh, not sure why it's going like this, but another jade plant that the winter cold here in the atrium didn't do it any favors. It dropped a bunch of its petals last year. This year, since the atrium is going to be heated, it should be fine. You'll see what happens. This is how the new babies come out. <laughs> When a petal lands on soil, many of them won't sprout. But as you can see, many of them will sprout. And that's what I've done is just take these little babies and plant them in planters. And soon I have a new jade plant. This is uh, another jade plant. This is another beauty. Some more of these corn plants that I have taken cuttings off from the original that my son, one of my sons gave me as a gift years and years and years ago. Probably over, I'd say at least 20 years. These are all offshoots from this plant right here which has gotten so big, it got so tall, that I just basically cut off the ends and put them in dirt, and they all developed into new plants. I thought that would be the end of the plant. It was outside all summer, but look what happened. Each one of these ends that I cut off, it sprouted a new plant. It's... This one didn't here, but this one didn't. But these other ones did. So now I've got one, two, three more. And then some also sprouted from the bottom here, which it's like, oh wow, this plant's unkillable. So if you want an unkillable plant that takes very little care, this is the corn plant. That's the one to choose. This is, wait a minute. this is um, a fern that my ex-boyfriend got me. Well, it's been it's probably eight, nine years ago he bought this for me. It was one single plant in a, a small pot back then. Now it is giant. It takes up this whole corner. And it keeps growing. It's an amazing thing. I just keep watering it and it can take cold. It's, it's a very hardy plant. This is a, another succulent that started out in a very small pot that just kept growing. I think it was just one of these little arms I guess you would call it one of them a small one to begin with and over time it's grown huge and it will continue to grow it likes being in that new pot 
And finally, finally, here are the, the fruit trees. This one, my ex-boyfriend started from a seed. It is now a very tall, as you can see, this is up on it here, so it's out of the way because there are thorns on this grapefruit tree and as it grew bigger i cut it back several times but it keeps growing and those things can get you when you walk by it so i decided to put them up on this table or this dresser and then they're out of the way for the most part but they really need to be repotted also they, I repotted them a couple of years ago in these pots, but they need big one, bigger ones. And you can see how tall they go up. I'd say they're, who knows how tall they are now. This is the avocado tree that I started from a pit. You can't really, but you can see the trunk of it. And it was actually two, but someone, it was outside, but someone got it when they had him cut the lawn, got one of them. So there's just one growing. And it's pretty tall. And here's another arm of it coming out, a branch, a limb. But it's, it likes being up there. It doesn't like to be moved all the time. This way it can stay in place. Uh, let's see. And then this is the second grapefruit tree that was started from a seed. And it is also pretty big. I really don't know what I'm going to do the bigger it gets. But I'd like to find... You know, see how, see if Meyer Garden might want it. Because I can't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep them in here. But I'll keep them in here for as long as I can. Alright, that's the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed it.